Hey, 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 what's up, champion? Gidimina is here. I hope you're doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk to you about NFL, no friends left zone in the business. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, I'd really appreciate if you drop new in the comments as well. And of course, if you get value or you think somebody else might find this video valuable, I'd really appreciate if you share this video uh, and drop shared in the comments or you can just tag uh, your friends, your team members into the comments below so they can see this video too. So uh, quite often uh, we hear this uh, struggle in, in network marketing, right? This, this objection sometimes that people give, which is uh, I don't want to lose my friends. You know, I don't want to do this business because I will have to push my friends to buy my products. I'm going to have to push my friends to join my business. And that comes from the old school of network marketing when people used to, a um, uh, long time ago when, when they used to start in network marketing, one of the first things they used to be told by the sponsor is make your friends list, right? Take a piece of paper, write down all of your friends, and we're going to go and try to sell them. We're going to go and try to recruit them into the business. And of course, that quite often uh, was received with the negativity, right? And some friends, some people would just... Uh, um, be not happy, you know, with being pushed to buy something or join. And that's how people used to lose friends, right? Like they would push the business or the product so much that they would lose their friends because their friends would want nothing to do with them because they know every time I talk to this person, they just have to push the product to me. Every time I talk to this person, they have to push their business to me, right? Uh, and that's how people would end up in the no friends left zone, right? Where they literally have no friends left, right? Because of the business. Now, is that still true today? I don't think so. Because one, first of all, let's take into account how many people you actually know. Like if I asked you, how many friends, family, work colleagues do you have? Like what's what's the amount of people that you actually know? Where are you going to be? 100, 200, 300, maybe 500 if you're really popular, right? But that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Now, let me ask you another question. How many people are there that you don't know? Millions, billions, right? So the people that you know or the, your friends list is infinitely smaller amount of people than the people you don't know. And in network marketing, even there is a saying that your network marketing business starts when your friends finish. So granted that most people, when they start in network marketing, they will sell some products to their friends and family and work colleagues. They might even recruit a couple of people. But either way, you can't build a huge successful business just from your friends and family. And, it, you know, at one point or another, you're going to have to go to speak to strangers, right? So more importantly than having a great huge friends list is not being scared of talking to people, of making new friends, right? Because nowadays, with the help of social media, literally, you got access to millions of people at your fingertips. You can go on Facebook, you can go on Instagram, you can go on TikTok and reach millions of people. You don't even need to talk to your friends and family if you don't want to. So you don't never have to be in the no friends left zone uh, in your business because you could build the whole business with strangers. That's what happened to me. Like when I first started, I was, you know, I didn't have any experience. I did invite my friends and family, but none of them joined. And then I went on to build a big team with people that I met after I started in network marketing, right? So you don't have to have this huge list. And even if you are going to go and offer your products or your business to your friends, you don't have to push them. You can be really, really nice about it and really chilled out about it and just give them a chance. Hey, I'm starting with this company. Not sure if that's something that you're interested in, but if you are, just let me know. If no, no big deal. Totally cool, right? Relationships first, business after relationship first, business after. Business should never be in the first place. Business should never be more important than your friend. Selling a product should never be more important than your family member, right? Relationships should always be in the first place and business or selling the product should come after that. So that's a quick tip for today. Hope you got value. If you did, feel free to share this video. Have a fantastic day. And if you're not yet building a home-based business and you would like to start earning an extra income from home, just drop me a message. I'll be more than happy to share with you what is it that I do. Have a great day and I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.